Alright, all right, you guys are gonna have to, well, welcome back to another video. You guys are gonna have to bear with me because I came to the park to read and I planned on recording today, but I didn't know exactly when. I also cannot see myself like very well. Like the sun is like right in my eyes and I can see myself on the screen, but like it's very bright. So we have a lift in about 30, 40 minutes, but I came to the park to read. Today I'm in 1 Thessalonians. I hope you guys can hear me okay, but 1 Thessalonians 5. But if you go down to verse 16, this is the verse that I wrote down this morning. It says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And so I wrote down in my journal, if you guys aren't writing in a journal to kind of keep up with your verses, I encourage you to. I said, pray and be grateful and change your mindset. A lot of times we try to think too deeply or we try to overthink a lot of times about some of the situations and feelings that we're kind of having. But the truth is, regardless of how good or how bad your situation is, if you just pray about it and realize that this is a lesson and this is an example of God testing you or putting you in a position to have to rely on him, your mindset's going to shift because now you realize that these things aren't just happening to you for no reason. There is a reason that's later to come and you may not understand now, but later God is going to show you why he put you through this so that you may understand and you're able to go forward, truly believe what God has for you. So I really love this verse. This, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. See so you guys in just a little bit. We're about to go over to the gym. We got reverse lunge on the program. Still can't see you guys, but you guys can see me. You feel what I'm saying? Anyways, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. But yeah, man. Let's go get this lift in. I'll see you guys once we get there. Let go. It's a lot later, but we got a freaking pickleball court, man. Yeah, we're gonna play. I haven't, I haven't played in a couple days, though, so I might be rusty. Just out here trying to have a good night.
What? What? We just lost. Sanai and I just lost. <laughs> you died. Against ooh, Caleb. Ooh, ooh. Caleb and Truman. Ooh, get off the court. Against Caleb, Caleb and oh, Truman. But I only like Truman out of that, that team. Out of the team? You don't like Caleb? No, Caleb's rude. All right, y'all guys. So, literally 11.40. And I just pulled up to the facility. I'm about to get some front squat in. And on Monday, we'll be back squatting. But I want to perfect my front squat form a little better. To try to be a little more quad dominant with that. Tonight, I want to try to hit like 250, 275. I've never really been that good at front squat. I think it's a lift that is good to do on like my extra days and my auxiliary days. I'm actually about to read the Bible and pray with my buddies. I've kind of just been having this kind of group idea. Feeling like, you know, we do great, you know, whenever we're around everybody, you know, everybody's in a great mood. And then sometimes when we go home or we finish the day, we kind of sit there and we're just kind of like, and we're not in the greatest mood. You know what I'm saying? We're happy, we're grateful, but we don't feel that great about, you know, various things. Um, we've all been kind of reading the Bible on our own, um, but we're going to read the Bible and we're going to pray together. I may lead it. You start feeling comfortable and start trying to do that with one another. As much as an individual, as you should be um, there is power in community certain people and the right people can help you become a better version of yourself I want to pursue with the people closest to me the people that know me the best or the people that have my best interest in mind I'll keep you guys posted so I'll see you guys but I'll see you guys once we get inside and uh, once everybody's pulled up so I'll see you guys in a little bit uh, let's go to 1st Thessalonians 12 is the final instruction it says now we ask you brothers and sisters to acknowledge those who work hard among you who care for you in the Lord and who admonish you hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work live in peace with each other and we urge you brothers and sisters one those who are idle and disruptive encourage the disheartened and help the weak but I wanted to bring you guys together because I think as much as we have like our own stuff that we deal with you know when we go home like, I know we joke around about it but like there's a difference between when you're amongst people and when you go home yeah. by yourself a lot of times we take a lot on ourselves I think there is power in community i think it's power in the people around us i haven't always been able to do this i just realized lately like spending time with the people you like that mean the most to you like i realized lately that i've like taken it for granted i lost my grandma to like six months ago in june i just lost my granddad and like i just i mean i never grew up like hanging out with them like i never went all the way to Pembroke and hung out with them but just like going through that and losing both of them in six months it's like it makes you really like look back and like yeah and how how fast it goes through and it's like how important spending time with the people like that mean the most to you is I still talk to y'all I what did we start talking again a month ago the last time I talked to you was when we made that video freaking tubes like <laughs> <dying, almost laughs> year and a half yeah, ago actually, a when... I don't show it at all yeah. like Y'all think I'm this like big tough guy who just loves to lift weights. Yeah. I do it because it's the only time I don't have to think about it. Yeah. Ephesians uh, 2 and I think Ephesians 4 is really good. Let's go to number 8. So it says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is from the gift of God. Not by works so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus. To do good works which God can prepare us for in advance. So I've been praying for peace. For he himself is our peace who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility by setting aside in his flesh the law with his command and, re and regulations. His purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two that's making peace and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross by which he put to death their hostility um, peace doesn't mean that everything's perfect and that's what I'm realizing I wouldn't say anything in my life is going perfect besides me finally getting stronger um, I think the peace that I have in the midst of it like I can drive down the street without any music and like as dumb as it sounds music is a distraction music will take your mind to the lyrics and you will forget what you are feeling but now I can start the car and I can go 15 20 minutes and not realize I didn't have it on but it's a piece that I'm driving I'm looking around like all right life is free cool yeah. freaking wind is blowing like the sun's out like it could be worse you know what I'm saying yeah. for example if I didn't go through what I did two years ago I'm not sitting here right now I'm not sitting here doing this with y'all right now yeah. we don't have a relationship we do we don't have a relationship yeah. I probably didn't even meet you no, regardless no. how much it sucks it teaches you something and that's what i've learned for the last two years i like i like to look myself as a good person but i look at myself two years ago i wasn't a very good person two years yeah. ago i just don't understand like how i struggle with like trying to see it through like if something happens in my life like, that's something like tragic yeah. like literally the smallest thing yeah. how i can learn from it and like yeah. see like how to get through i mean obviously you know i'll get through it but it's just like like at the beginning it's like how do you get through and like how to see the benefits of it yeah. like it's just from the start i go out in the car at night and just like talk to myself all the time mm -hmm. and at first it was like why did this happen yeah. why am i here why did, why did it have to have, have yeah. happen to me why did it have to and be me i'm not happy with it mm -hmm. but i'm like thank you for doing this to me i'm much better now i'm just growing and realizing a lot of things i i, I said to you poor thank god i went through the stuff i went through because i didn't go through that who knows where you would be right now who knows where i would be right now who knows where you two would be right now like if 
I didn't go through what I went through, and you don't go through the stuff you go through. Like, are we best friends right now? God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for waking waking us up this morning and uh, just giving us another chance, another day, another opportunity to just experience life. I thank you for bringing us together tonight and uh, just giving us a chance to talk to one another um, and share your love. Um, I pray that as we go through our life and we go through our daily life, I pray that anyone who interacts with us gets a chance to see your love through us. Um, I pray that anyone we're able to touch, um, we're able to reach with your love. Um, I thank you for everything you're doing and everything you're planning to do as we go forward. Um, And I pray that you bring this peace um, that only comes from you, that surpasses everything um, that we are experiencing, that we're dealing with. Um, that we're kind of handling on our own. Um, I put in Jesus' name. Amen. If y'all watch it and y'all see a good majority of it, tell us if we should start a freaking podcast. We should. Hello, <laughs> you. I guarantee this video is going to be a banger. I want to know if we should start a podcast. Like, actually.